In this video we're going to have a look at how to work with your plans, set constraints to keep them compliant in your project. And here we have a plan I've been working on and I'm going to focus on the hallways here that I've designed to be 1200 millimeters wide to keep them compliant with local regulations. And uh, I'm going to jump into a project where we have two different units where I would like to uh, generate my plan. So I'm going to start with this one, click generate floor plan and let Finch do its magic. And as we see the results are popping in, I can choose my own plan up here, my floor plan. You can see that it has been nicely adapted to the unit and I'm going to assign it. If I go in here and now take a look at the hallways, you can see that it's a little bit too narrow. When the plan has been adapted to this unit, the corridors or the hallways has been uh, more narrow. So I'm going to delete this one and head back into my plan library. And what I'm going to do here is to set up constraints. So I'm going to lock these walls and click save. And this is your way to communicate with Finch and saying, Keep my, uh, keep my design intent and keep the hallways as I designed them basically. And when I generate in this unit once again, give it a couple of seconds, here my results pops in, you can see that now my hallways is 1200 millimeter perfectly and the, the, the changes has ended up in the bathrooms and bedrooms and so on. If we go into another design, we have a step facade here. It's a little bit bigger. Let's do the same thing here. Fire up the algorithm. We can see the results are starting to pop in. I have my own plans. I actually can have a look at my colleagues plans here as well if I would like to use them or some Finch generated results down here. But I'm going to choose the same plan here as an example and I'm going to assign it to my unit. And the same thing here, you can see that the hallways is 1200 millimeters precisely as I wanted them to be and, and uh, the changes has ended up in the other uh, spaces here. So this is a great way of telling Finch how to uh, interact with your design, to keep your design intent, to make sure that everything you generate is compliant and follow local regulations. Thank you.